Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, about to jump in the car this morning and uh, meet Leland, my son, for lunch. He tells me there is a uh, classic car, uh, a whole bunch of classic cars. I don't know whether it's a uh, meeting, whether it's a... Uh, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, he tells me close to his work there's a Marriott, and at that Marriott apparently there are a whole lot of classic cars, and he knows my interest in that. So as a result, I'm going to head on down to uh, a meeting for lunch, and then right after that I'm going to go see what's going on with these uh, with these cars. So come along. <music> This is not your typical car show for sure. I think this is just a rally of some people who own apparently Model Ts. And as we'll see around here, it uh, looks as though uh, they all have kind of banners on the back. So I assume that all these models that we're about to see that are scattered around the parking lot are Model Ts. So let's take a look and see. The Model T Club International, number 92. I sure wish I had some information for you about these cars. This one's here from Wisconsin. Uh, judging from the amount of trailers that are around, I'd have to say that a lot of these were <laughs> probably most of these <laughs> stupid statement most of these were probably not driven here from as far away as Wisconsin I would think they're probably trailered in although by the looks of some of them these these cars are not uh, these cars are used so which is kind of neat not in museum uh, quality but on the other hand probably very drivable this one is in super shape Absolutely beautiful. Here from Virginia. Brass front, wooden chat wooden body, white rubber wheels. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. Looks like they've got a Morse code system going on up there, or uh, actually it's probably a battery, I guess, Morse code. Just goes to show what a car person I am. While I was in the parking lot at the Marriott, I happened to glance uh, to my side and saw what appeared to be uh, one of the owners, and who's on the self on a cell phone. And I thought, well, I'm going to loiter a little bit and see if maybe time would permit uh, this gentleman to, to uh, talk to us. So I loitered a bit and uh, eventually you know, I continued to look around at, at some of the cars that were there. And eventually he got off the phone. I went over and introduced myself and asked if he would, if he would mind telling us a little bit about his car, which he did. So this is a rare, rare uh, opportunity and a real delight for me to be able to bring this to you because who knows their cars and who knows more about the Model T than, than somebody who owns and drives one which is what this organization is uh, all about they they not only own their cars but they rally and uh, when they come to a place like Pittsburgh uh, they spend two or three or four days out uh, touring in their in their Model T so what a what a change this is from the museum setting where most of us uh, are the only place that most of us would ever get to see one of these cars. So I'm bringing that to you without further delay. Um, his name is, is Tom Hargrave. He was there with his son, uh, Tim, who remained off camera. 
And I just want to say thank you very much to both of them for being so gracious to take time out of their day uh, to talk to us, especially in view of the fact that they, they had a problem with their radiator and uh, part of what they were about uh, that morning, that late uh, morning, was trying to get that repaired. As I jokingly said to him, I guess this is not something you can run down to your local advanced auto parts or pep boys and pick up a new radiator for. So <laughs> I don't know how they figure this out, but in any event, let's get back to the interview with, with, uh, with Tom. And again, uh, my thanks to him for taking time out of his day to talk to well, us. Well, we're, we're here outside of, of uh, Pittsburgh. In, What's your name? My name is Tom Hargrave. And we're, my son, Tim, is here with me, and we are from Pittsburgh, New York, at least I am. And down here with my Model T for the annual Model, uh, Ford Model T International Association. These are people, Model T's from all over. And there, be, there were 202 registered originally when we came, and we've been touring three days now in this car, this Model T, which is a 1924 touring car. And it developed a leaky radiator yesterday afternoon. So our touring, the rest of the touring time is over, at least in the Model T, but I think we'll take our regular car for the rest of the trip. Anyway, we've had a good time in it, but it just done broke down. It's, of course, it's 90, it's 90, 90 years uh, old. 90, 94 I'm years. not that old and I break down. Too. Oh, I don't. <laughs> It's an old car. They're all old. There have been other breakdowns because the the, the uh, hills here in northern Pennsylvania are brutal, yeah. up and down. And we they, what's with the red one over there? I thought they were all black. No, no. The early ones were were, were different colors. You could get green and uh, maroon for let's see. I think well, the first Model T was 199, and uh, they stopped making brass models. I think in 19. 17. The last brass radiator went. Then they're all black because Henry Ford brought the cut price down every year in his Model T's. This one, this one in 1910 would have been probably $800. And uh, I think by 1924 it would be $400. So, wow. so that, so people could afford Model T's, and he put the world on wheels. Essentially, I saw one up here that looked like uh, it had the battery right on the dashboard. Is that true? Well, it could be. Could be. Well, there 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 have been some modifications here, right. Right. little, but but the old brass models are gorgeous. If you've seen any of those, that's they are just that gorgeous. Was, the brass model, and it yeah. looked like a small. I thought it was maybe a um, Morris code kind of thing because it had the uh, bars, but I guess they were connectors between each one of the cells. And yeah. Only about the size of maybe a, a nine bolt today. Yeah, well, those, I think those are, yeah. So, so. let me just spin around. I'm going to ask you to hold that. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm going to spin around and just take a look at your vehicle. All right, fine. At your vehicle. And you're actually driving these? Pardon me? Are you driving these from place to place? Oh, yeah. Oh, I drive it all over the place. It needed a new radiator because the old one sprang a leak, but then this one failed me on the, right at the end of the trip yesterday. I saw the, uh, the trailers here and I thought some of them must be trailered in. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're all trailed in. Well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Well, I, I appreciate very, very much. being in the news. I'm so glad that, uh, that Dancing the wreckage in your bedroom like a 70s 